Welcome to Nick's Top Picks for week four of Matt James' season. Uh, this week's going to be a little different because with so much nasty, petty drama from the women, we're going to be rewarding some women who weren't even on this episode that much for not involving themselves in the drama. Coming at number 10, Rachel, one of the people who did not involve herself in the drama. Props to her for that. Matt clearly is into her. Uh, she's gotten a group date rose. She's gotten some quality time. We're waiting to see her get a one-on-one. -on -one. We're certain it's gonna happen. So number 10, Rachel. Coming at number nine, Piper, her first time on the top 10 list. She hasn't really done much up into this week, but she's had a, some nice quality time with Matt in an episode that was filled with drama. She looks great dressed up. We uh, got to see more of a focus on her. I suspect that we'll get to see more Piper in weeks to come. Coming to number eight, Abigail. Well, kind of like Rachel, Abigail is in this list more from her work in the previous episodes, not involved in the, the drama or the mean girlness. Uh, another person I'm almost certain is gonna get a one-on-one -on -one, and she's gotten that first impression, Rose. My guess is that she's just kind of sidelined for not being involved in the drama, which is a good thing for her. So number eight, Abigail. Coming at number seven, Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea kind of disappeared for a couple weeks, but she got the group date rose, uh, which is great. Uh, she got a little bit more conversation with Matt, nice little backstory uh, about uh, growing up that was nice to hear. Slightly involved in the, the, the pettiness, but not, not clear how much she was really involved. So number seven, Chelsea. Coming at number six, Victoria, she sucks. I mean, let's make it clear, Victoria is a garbage human. But nevertheless, She's bringing the drama. She is creating the drama. She is ridiculous. Uh, terrible qualities as a person, but fun to watch. Number six, Victoria. Speaking of garbage characteristics, Anna. I mean, I, I, I don't think I could be cr more critical of a person, Anna, uh, spreading unsubstantiated rumors. Uh, clearly, Anna enjoyed these rumors, she enjoyed talking about it. It's like she is as if she knew what she was doing was wrong, but still didn't care. And what she did was terrible. I don't. Uh, she sucks. I don't. Anna sucks. But drama nonetheless. So she gets the number five nod. Number four, Brie. Brie got a group date rose. Some sanity with Brie. Once again, not involved in the drama, and she's at number four because she's clearly a front runner. Matt taking some time out of this drama-filled episode to validate their relationship, letting her know that, hey, I got you on a one-on-one, -on -one. you already had that, let me, I'm just here to remind you that I'm super into you. There's a lot of other one-on-ones that are gonna have to happen before Brie gets her next one. So that group date rose was a, a big rose for Brie because it tells me that Brie is gonna be in it for the long run. Number three, Brittany, a newcomer, a new arrival, a part of the drama. Uh, what did Brittany do wrong other than show up? She made out with Matt. Uh, these rumors that she's an escort, quite frankly, I don't really care if she is or isn't, but what Anna did was terrible, and it just sucks that she had to go through that. Um, I thought she handled herself pretty well with having to face accusations like that. She clearly, um, part of the drama, unfair or not, she was a, a big reason why there was a lot of drama in this episode. I suspected there'd be more. Uh, from Brittany and she's certainly not afraid to you know deal with the drama so number three Brittany number two Michelle Michelle I mean what a rock star she comes in new arrivals classy mature uh, doesn't seem to involve herself in the drama she had an excellent one-on-one -on -one with Matt Matt clearly is into her uh, of all the new arrivals it seems like Michelle is his favorite and she's in it to win it. I think Michelle is a player. She could be top four. I think she's definitely someone Matt could end up with. Uh, it was a great date. The hot air balloon. I mean, who wouldn't want to fall in love in a hot air balloon? Uh, I hope to see more of Michelle. Number two, Michelle. And rounding out number one on our top 10, Katie. Katie was the only one to critique and defend the toxic behavior. We don't know if there are other women also criticizing some of this to toxic behavior, but Katie was the only one we got to see uh, I love the way that she defended her use of her vibrator and she didn't let Victoria's nonsense get the best of her. Uh, so props on Katie. Without Katie, this episode would have been totally trash and toxic. So thank you uh, for Katie 
for making me feel just a little bit sane. So there's your top 10. We'll see you next week. I don't know what else to say.